There are many modern inventions that have serious potential to change the world's reliance on fossil fuels in tremendous ways. Electric vehicles, bioplastics, more efficient renewable energy sources. But this video isn't about them. This video is about a particular invention that has spawned a vast and complicated conspiracy about the modern world. This video is about the water-powered car. Stanley Mayer is easily the most recognizable name tied to the invention of the water-powered car, as he dedicated the majority of his life to what he called the water fuel cell. Meyer claimed his car, fitted with a water fuel cell, could travel from Los Angeles to New York, a trip that takes about 300 gallons of gas on just 22 gallons of water. No petroleum, no emissions, just clean, cheap energy. The water fuel cell would use a process called electrolysis to split the water into its two components, hydrogen and oxygen, after which the hydrogen gas would be burned to generate energy. Of course, there are two major problems with his patent. The first and second laws of thermodynamics. The first being that you can't just create energy out of nothing, and the second that the more energy is transformed or transferred, the more of it is wasted. The difference between hydrogen itself and the water that flows out of your garden hose is the energy and process required to isolate the hydrogen. Stanley wasn't even proposing an engine. Stanley was proposing a perpetual motion machine which, by all known limits of the universe, is simply impossible. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? This didn't stop Stanley from filing a number of patents related to his water fuel cell and making grandiose claims to the local news station about his invention. Enough, as the conspiracy goes, to garner the attention of the wrong sort of people. Stanley Mayer died a sudden death in a restaurant in March of 1998 during a meeting with two Belgian investors. He ran outside, saying with his dying breath, they poisoned me. Despite the fact that the Franklin County Coroner Report ruled his death the result of a cerebral aneurysm, many of his supporters believe to this day that he was assassinated, either by the government or by the competition in order to suppress his inventions. But the truth is that his invention was a sham, and his supporters simply couldn't stomach the idea that he was a far less extraordinary man than they had hoped. In the years before his death, Stanley was found by the court to have committed gross and egregious fraud, because his cell was nothing revolutionary at all and was forced to repay his investors their $25,000 in full. On top of that, all of Mayer's patents have since expired, and his invention is in the public domain, available for anyone to use to their heart's desire. Despite this, no engine or vehicle manufacturer has ever incorporated his work. Aaron Salter Jr. was a security guard and former police officer who spent most of his free time working on his own take on the hydrogen electrolysis-powered car. He would post videos of himself tweaking his invention on YouTube, but as of yet, there's been no clear evidence to suggest he actually got a car to run on water. Though it went mostly unheard of his entire life, things would change when Aaron Salter Jr. tragically died in a racially charged mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, just this year. He took a bullet in a heroic effort to stop the shooter before he could take any more innocent lives. And for this, Aaron Salter Jr. will forever be remembered as a hero. After the shooting, Aaron's YouTube channel flooded with people interested in his water-powered engine. Theories began to surface that the shooting had been a targeted attack on Salter's life in order to keep his technology from being brought to market. This conspiracy spread on the internet like wildfire, 
resulting in a considerable number of people who fail to see this terrible event for what it truly was, and by extension, fail to give Aaron Salter the respect he deserves for the valiant efforts that cost him his life. The idea of making fuel a less precious resource has been around for much longer than you might think, though. Before the claims of water-powered fuel cells and engines came a more simple idea. What if you could simply turn water into gasoline? The most infamous case of this would have to be Guido French, who in the 1950s claimed to be in possession of a green powder invented by the non-existent German scientist Dr. Alexander Kraft. The powder, when mixed with water, would turn the mixture into gasoline. Who are all these oddballs? Well, they keep us here because we know too much. Number 27 there knows how to turn water into gasoline. French claimed his formula could not be disclosed to anyone, in case the oil industry would seek to suppress it. A sentiment that perked the ears of many a small investor, looking for the best return on investment money can buy. But when he finally gave in and provided samples of his transformative powder, it turned out to be food coloring that turned the water green. Unsurprisingly, French was prosecuted many times and eventually convicted for fraud in 1979. The spirit of the inventor is one that often seems manic and overconfident as an outsider, only for us all to be proved wrong as their invention shocks and changes the world. Many once thought those trying to build the flying machine were wasting their money and time on a frivolous dream. So as our world rapidly changes before our eyes, we can't help but get ahead of ourselves sometimes and blur the line between science and science fiction. Aaron Salter Jr. worked tirelessly to try and create something tangible to show the world. The lies and misinformation that spawned as a result of his passing is in no way his fault. But people like Stanley Mayer or Guido French, though they may have tried at first to develop their ideas, eventually decided to spin a web of lies instead. Perhaps out of frustration that what had once seemed their destiny just wasn't meant to be.